guys you're welcome back to my channel my name is Ipoma and today I'll be showing you how to make a yolk super perfect with a fast cream trust me it's going to be very easy and simple so if you're interested in learning this keep watching to the end now here is how it goes I first of all mark the starting point on my pattern paper you can as well choose to use the edge of this pattern paper as your starting line I usually like drawing my starting line both on the sides and on top of my, my pattern paper. What I'm actually trying to do is to draft out my basic bodice pattern. Now what I'll have to do is to mark out my under bust and my half length. My under bust is 12 and my half length is 15 plus 1 inch allowance. So I made it 16. So I, I ruled a line across this. Now to get my bust point, what I usually do is to take 3 inches from my under bust upwards because I'm not too busty but for people that are, bust, are a bit busty I usually add 3.5 or probably 4 inches depending on the size of your bust but for me I usually take 3 inches up from my under bust to get my bust point so here is it, this is what I'm doing now the next thing I want I have to do is to mark out my neck depth and my neck width so I'm using 5 inches by 5 inches. I don't really want it too choky, so I just need something free and down a bit. So that's why I'm using 5 inches by 5 inches. So you can you can still choose to design your neck anyhow you want it. And I'm making it a round neck. Now I'm trying to fix in my armhole. And what I'll do is to divide my shoulder measurement into 2 plus half inch allowance. That is 15 divided by 2, 7.5 plus half inch to give me 8. Now I'll mark that 8 inches down. Now to get my armhole curve, I'll divide my bust circumference, which is 34, divided by 6 plus 1.5 inch. So it gives me approximately 7.5. So that's what I'm using for my armhole curve. Now I drew a straight line across this too. Now after that, I'll have to make my shoulder slant. I'll come down from the top of my shoulder by half inch. Then the rem whatever is remaining there, divide it by two. Then at that point, that half, I come out by half inch like you see me doing. Now on top of the chest line, I divide my bust circumference by four and mark that point there without allowance. Now I'll place my curve drill to connect these three points. That is the, the point at which I made my shoulder slant to the half inch I came out at the middle, join it to the, my bust circumference divided by 2. So this will give me my armhole curve. Now I'm joining my shoulder slant, connecting it to the neck line. Now I'm trying to place my nipple to nipple measurement. That is, uh, my nipple to nipple measurement is 7 divided by 2 3.5 plus half inch so that is what i'm marking at my waist point my under bust and my bust point and i rule the line across it now i'm going to measure my the distance from my under bust to my bust point whatever it gives me i'm going to make a circle around there using that measurement as a radius and also i'm using that my bust point as the center of that circle so the circle is not really necessary but it is just there for a guide. You will understand why I did this in the long run. Now that my circle is ready, I'm going to make a regular start on the basic bodice pattern. Now I'm taking half inch from the two sides of my nipple to nipple measurement. Then for my bust point, I come down by one inch and connect those half inches to that one inch at the bust point. Now from that already existing that, I come out by half inch on my under bust line and then connect those half inches down to that original that that was there. Like you see me doing. Now, from the half inches I took out on my under bust, I connect it back to that one 
inch I took down from my under bust, sorry, from my bust point. Just follow what I'm doing and you understand what I'm saying. Okay. So then I went ahead to create a shoulder that it is not too important but it's there for a guide. So I'll just divide my shoulder into two and connect it down to my bust point to meet the nipple to nipple measurement. Like you see me doing. Now I go to my under bust and measure what I have there on my back. So I'm placing it up. Now what I have there is 1.5. So I'm giving half inch to the side that is going inside, like to the, to the folded part and the one inch to the outer part. Like you see me doing. Then I connect it with a ruler down to the bust point. So you see the circle there is just to guide me on where exactly to place my measurement, my dark measurement. Now this little part of my armhole, I divide it into two and come down by half inch. Now I'm making a straight line there. This is because I just want my posterior to come down under my armhole. I don't want it to just stay exactly on my armhole. So from that's my new armhole. So from there I'm connecting that one inch that I gave on that circle down to that half inch I gave under my armhole. And then from there I connect with a curve down to my under bust. Like you see me doing. I'm so sorry, please bear with me. I forgot I was supposed to take out 0.75 inch from the that I made up there. You know, this is just to enable your cup to sit very well on your bust. So please take note before you join your cups, just make sure you take out 0.75. It's not up to uh, 0.5 just take out 0.75 inches then you connect back your cups you'll see what i'm doing you'll understand what i'm trying to say okay now from these two points i made connect your cups now that one part of our cup is ready so let's work on the other one now from your chest line come down by either one or half inch it is totally your choice now from that point come in also by one or half inch okay for me I came in by half inch then from that point you connect it with a curve up to the dash that you made on top of the, that circle so watch what I'm doing so after I was done connecting I use a straight line to connect that half inch I made there just connect it straight to the folded part now use your cord ruler to connect from that half inch point down to your under bust to meet the dart there now our two cups are ready this is a two part corset so the two cups are ready the two parts are ready so we'll now go ahead to insert our horizontal measurement our bust circumference and the waist circumference so now I divided my bust into four what it gave me I added 2.5 inches allowance now on my waist I divided my waist into four then whatever I have in between this my dart I have one inch there I replaced it and I also added my extra 2.5 inch allowance and I connected the two lines So now this is basically all for the front pattern. So I just went ahead to use the marker to outline this part so that you understand it very well and know the parts to cut out. So watch what I did. Now remember that this our corset bustier is going to have a yoke. So watch how I'm going to cut out my yoke. Now while cutting out the yoke part, 
please just be careful for you not to spoil what you've done already so cut out the yolk carefully trace it on top across the two cups follow that circle you made initially and then trace it down across the other part of the cup and you separate your yolk from the normal bowl so here is what it is now you continue with your other part in your cutting mark Now at this point you might be confused as to what happened to the basket effect but this is what I will do. I will get the side front and the center front to glue them together with the cellar tape. Now I have already removed the dart so there will be no need to cut it separate again so I joined it I will be cutting it exactly like this. Now by the center front take down the depth of your basket effect. Me I want it to be 4 inches so you could still choose however deep you want your bust effect to be so I took 4 inches down and then connect it straight to the other end of that my pattern right. okay here I made a mistake it's supposed to be 4 but I didn't get that to 4 so I'm correcting it now this is my 4 inches and I'm joining it back to where it's supposed to be you see what I'm doing so now my bust effect is ready so I'll just cut it out while cutting on the fabric, I'm cutting exactly what is on this part of it. Right? So that is it. Our front pattern is ready. This is our basque effect. And our cups too and our yoke. Our front pattern is ready. You feel beautiful already. <laughs> now let's go to the back pattern. For the back, I have already drafted my basic bodice pattern. So what I did now is to come down by half inch, just what I did in the front. And I don't want my corset to sit right exactly on my under bust. So this is, I came down by half inch under my under bust. And I want the back, I just wanted to have a kind of a sweet heart. So that's what I'm doing now. I connected it down like this. So this is going to give me a slight sweet heart effect. Now for the the yoke I don't really want it like this I don't want the I'm going to use an illusion net for it uh, so I don't want it to get to the zipper part so it is going to stop here so I corrected that I want it to be a deep V neck for my yoke so this is basically all for the back so I'll just go ahead and insert my horizontal measurement that the bust circumference and the waist circumference join it to the ruler and cut out my back pattern So guys, this is basically all for your two-part corset with a yoke at the back waist. So stay tuned to my channel for you to see how beautiful this is going to come out in the fabric. Right? So if this has been helpful to you, don't forget to like, don't forget to share with your friends, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And please hit the notification bell so that you get notified when I post new videos. Right? Thank you so much for watching to the end of this video. Right? See you in my next video. Bye.